Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 16th of 2019. Well, it is titled the magnetic fields of spiral galaxy M77. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a spiral galaxy. And if it doesn't look like ordinary spiral galaxies, as you've seen, that is in part because it is a composite image and that it is not just the optical image which is underlying it taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and you can see some of that out towards the outer edges of this where it is a clear and you can see little bits of the spiral arms and some of the dust lanes associated with the spiral arms of the galaxy. However, the inner portion is dominated by other uh, other materials and that is actually looking at the magnetic field. So we're not looking at the actual emission but the magnetic fields there and we do that by looking at polarized light light that has been adjusted so that it is traveling in just a single direction. So the light travels and oscillates in just one direction instead of random decorate yeah, instead of random directions as it would in ordinary light. So things like polarized sunglasses do the same kind of thing and can make things seem a lot darker by eliminating letting through only specific light that is uh, oscillating in a single direction. So we can see that here and you can actually see the spiral structure as it uh, begins to tr trace out from the interior of the galaxy. So it helps to give us some hints as to how that spiral structure is formed. And what we uh, believe now is that it is part of a density wave and that the, those uh, those magnetic fields are following along and highlighting the density waves, which are areas of increased density within the galaxy. And those act as sort of a great galactic traffic jam where stars and gas and dust bunch up uh, in these density and high density areas. And that is where the excess star formation will then begin. So as material bunches up in this little traffic jam, material will collide together, gas clouds will collide and star formation will occur. And that will give us the blue stars that we associate with the spiral arms of a galaxy and the pink hydrogen regions also associated with star formation. Now these are always within the spiral arms because they don't live long enough to move out of them. Other stars like our sun could pass through these traffic jams a number of times over their lives. But a very massive blue star will live and die within the traffic jam in itself. So it will swarm there and it will die within that traffic jam and often they go supernova exploding at the end of their lives. And that will also enhance the star formation within those spiral arms. So that's why the spiral arms are highlighted because that is where all the star formation is going on. And the stars that form never get a chance to leave those spiral arms. Uh, so using the magnetic field is helping to give us a better idea of how the spiral structure forms within a spiral galaxy and the processes by which it changes perhaps over the course of the life of a galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for December the 16th of 2019. It was titled the magnetic fields of spiral galaxy M77. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be red and dusty. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.